um, a C, D, E, F, G, and back. Good job. Now stay there, and I'm going to switch us to local. That means you'll only see me on the record back. And now finally, we do the split screen. I don't believe we've done that yet. Okay, see, so I was able to go to three different views without initiating a new footage, which is great on Skype Record. So now I'm going to play and then you're going to answer me. Now we see how soft we can do that. So I'm going to go up five notes and down, and you can go up five notes. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. So I'm just going to go. And now you do that. Good job. Now I'm going to go E, yeah. going on I'm going to switch the view you won't know that you know when I'm quiet I'm switching the view I'm going to keep the footage running and I'm going to put it on local only so that the footage will have just me doing this with the whole piano the whole keyboard shown okay and now while I'm still got the footage running the record going I'm going to go to remote now they're going to see you doing that completely on the screen Good, and, and now the other, so this was all recorded with this basic view of my keyboard, then split in half, and then going back and forth. And then the last one, yeah. I sit, shows my low-tech stand. I, I eat this stack of books on a stool. Right, right, <laughs> so, right. I mean, that's good because it shows a minimum investment. In fact, for a yeah. long time I was doing that until I got this little music stand that you saw. It's next to the piano. Um, yeah, I mean... And it can twirl around to the... See, because I have the two pianos to deal with, so I can twirl it around like Laura's lesson and show my, my playing example and then turn it back to her. For live lessons, it's really great. But your situation, you just need a stable one view. So um, I know that uh, Sherry uses a, uh, but she has to for the iPad. You have to have a stand. Have you settled on those books being that high? Is that where they are right now with the higher stack? Yeah, but like if I wanted, if you, if I wanted to get you higher, then I would just yeah. add a couple of books, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. See, there's a little. So you're giving me different views so that right. I will see. So there's a little higher. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, see you now. You down here in the low register, you yeah. get yeah. Yeah. a little higher view right yeah, it's excellent it's an excellent view and i think the main thing i think especially in a split screen if we have a basic longer arm of, of angle where i see your whole arm then on the split yeah. screen you don't get cut off to your wrists yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah. right yeah. now i'm just switching over to split screen as we're talking i was recording this um at, at, on a split screen and you're moving it around um um, no doubt this is going to record back with a good deal of your arm that I'll be able to be to, to need to see when yeah I, when if I you really said see it when I yeah, if you said to me you wanted to see more of my arm that I would right. just right. move and there this you go. back and there you go 
you know, yeah, and because what happens and what people don't realize if they don't experiment a little with it is that if you happen to be too close in your camera view to your hands, then on the split screen, I might see only part of your hand, even a little bit of your finger. Yes. Yeah. So, so the, yeah. the teacher can, well, the teacher can only know that when she does a playback, but pretty much, you know, from, from what you're seeing now, what I'm going to see on the split screen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an important thing for a teacher to monitor that and, 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 and say, well, you know, I think you're too close on your camera to your wrists and I don't see your arms. And then yeah. the student adjusts it like you just did now. Yeah. And the good thing is like, uh, you know, on Skype, like right now I have this little mini view, right, of what you see in my lower right hand corner. Yes. You got I can, a thumbnail of, of it. Right, right. But, but you've got that big Mac screen yes. so yes. you can really see my, that's why you never miss anything. <laughs> Right, right, right. And people think that it's, you know, that I can't see as much as if you were live, but in a way I can almost see more. Yeah, of, yeah, of no, things. no. Um, you never miss anything. <laughs> and, and the fact is that the student can also, with the different views I use, can, especially on the playback where they get a supplementary video, they could see, how did I move my wrist? You know, what, 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 I, what do I need to work on and, and on a close-up? So the, yeah. this whole technology is, is, is really good, but, it, but we get good, pretty good sound, too. Um, um, and you have a rather bright Yamaha, so different pianos come across a little differently, right. you know. Right. But my piano, I'm pretty sure, comes comes across pretty well. Yeah. Right. And uh, I will say this for me personally: the sound is better on FaceTime. Okay. Yeah, and I think it is in general. You know, you might could share with them. I'm in a place that is really. There are parts of this county sort of that are, rural, sort of rural North County. Yeah, like there's parts of our county that the speeds are like I, I, I'm sort of a dummy. Is it 25 megabytes per second yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm at like 1.3, which is hardly better than dial-up. Now all of that is being upgraded in about three months. They're they're putting all copper relay systems in all the fiber optics and stuff. But but right now, I think it's amazing that we get the reception that we do because... Because it also, what also factors in is my side, too, probably. I'm preparing for a lesson to North Carolina by FaceTime so we can go through the nuts and bolts of going online for a piano lesson now. I am actually filming now the overhead camera that uh, is one of my camera views for Skype lesson, going all the way up. It's a six foot tripod with an Alzo horizontal mount that's clamped onto the neck of the tripod. It's looking down at my Baldwin piano. So I'm gonna go back down slowly. You can see the horizontal mount. There's a Logitech C920 camera that's screwed into the end of the Alzo mount and it's directed down at a certain angle that I like uh, on the Baldwin grand piano. Now this very tall tripod is very very conducive to uh, the Skype lesson or the FaceTime lesson because you can't bump your head when you're sitting down or uh, a student that might be sitting at this piano for a live lesson um, won't get knocked off by the um, by the uh, camera being too low on the mount. Now you can see right over there adjacent to the bench is my Yeti mic. Um, it's pretty close to where I'll be sitting and it picks up the voice pretty well uh, and notice it's more toward the treble side um, of the piano. So remember it's picking up my fee to the student wherever he or she may be and so when I'm recording as well I want that uh, mic as I talk to pick up my voice pretty adequately in terms of volume but I can always make volume adjustments um, when I import footage from a particular lesson into iMovie and you, what you see here um, is getting ready for the FaceTime. I don't want to see anyone see anybody's phone numbers, but behind it just happens that uh, last night I did a tutorial on the little party 
uh, by Bergmuller where I discussed executing the parallel third scales going up and down and that's the import. You can see the sound waves and I'll be showing some of that as an example of my practice which involves supplementary videos for students um, who are online students and also supplementary videos for live students. So I'm now waiting for April to sign on from North Carolina um, and I'm going to be I'm using right now I'm filming this with a camcorder a small camcorder I don't use this camcorder uh, generally in my practice because I, I will use the Mac uh, um, Skype recorder if I'm on Skype uh, to record that is and I'll use the FaceTime recorder and I'll be going all of, over all of those applications and functions in the course of um, the presentation. So what I'm doing now is filming my iMac. My iMac is pretty big. It's the 21 inch screen. It's not a MacBook. It's not small. It's not something you put in your as a laptop, but it is. Okay, here comes April and I'm going to click accept. Let's see if you can see accept. There we go. Accept is there. Very good. And now I'm going to do a close up of the keyboard so we see some things going on. Perfect. 